Hello. Fucked and drank all night. Acted all alright. Today ain't it, I'm gonna be honest. Just gonna apologize in advance. I'm gonna be probably very low energy this whole vlog because I've had no sleep and I've had about six blood noses in the past two days and I actually don't think I have any blood left in my body. So that's like really, really good. <laughs> Just thought I'm gonna vlog today because there's some interesting things that are happening. I don't know if they're interesting to you, but they're interesting to me. So I'm like, maybe they'll be interesting to you. I don't know. I don't make the rules. First thing is, I have wanted an espresso machine for about a year. Ever since I started like getting proper into coffee. And like, I just think they're so cool. And at work, we're allowed to make our own coffee and like, we're allowed to have drinks and stuff. And they have like a proper coffee machine, like proper like barista coffee machine. Cause we obviously have to make them for customers. Um, and that's just confirmed how badly I've wanted an espresso machine. Cause like, it just makes the coffee so much better. And instant coffee, which is what we use, is just shit. Like it's just not, it's not it, you know? And especially the way that I make them, cause I make iced coffees. Instant coffee is not good for that. So, I was talking to mum about it and she was like, wait, I want one of those too. Cause I was just gonna go out and buy one. Um, cause I found a really cool one at Target for a hundred dollars. She was like, we can just split it because I'm gonna use it as well. And I was like, all right, sick. So that's what I'm gonna do today. That's the first order of business. And I also wanna buy some syrups because at work we put syrup in the coffee, like caramel syrup instead of sugar. And I, yeah, I just don't like putting sugar in coffee, but then I'll put, a sugar filled syrup in. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have the logic for it. That is the first order of business today. And then, you guessed it, I'm getting another tattoo. Haha. <laughs> I, I assume some of you would have known. Um, in my older videos, I filmed with my dog and he has since passed away. And I've been really wanting a tattoo for him. So, I will be getting a tattoo of his face. I'm not going to show you what picture it's going to be of. Because I kind of want it to be a surprise. Um, and I'm just like, I'm so excited. I'm getting it done at 3 o'clock today. It's quarter to 12 now. So I've got some time in between to go and get my coffee machine and everything. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. I had actually booked in for this tattoo about 2-3 months ago. But with a different artist. And he was really good at doing like really realistic tattoos and like... Like they were so cool and they still are cool but like I booked in and I booked in to have a consultation with him but then it got to like a week before and you can cancel up to like 24 hours prior and stuff and I was just a bit like I don't think that's gonna go with the rest of my tattoos and like it was gonna be $300 and at that point I wasn't really making much money so I cancelled that because I didn't want to spend $300 on something I was kind of iffy about but this one I'm so excited about. Um, it's a different artist I've never been to before. So she's also a stick and poke tattoo artist and I've never had a professional stick and poke as you guys have seen. I've done my own stick and pokes. They're absolutely tragic so but I obviously she will be better so because I've seen her work and it's amazing. I'm so excited but the issue is right I was gonna get it here like that was where I was gonna have it like that's what I told her that's where I told her I wanted it um, well, I just said like in an elbow kind of thing, but for the past two days, <laughs> I'm thinking I might kind of want it here on the outside because all my tattoos are on the inside. I say all of them, two of them, and then my leg one, but like they're just both on the inside of my arm. So like, if you just look on the outside, like you can't see anything. So I was thinking I kind of want it there and I think it'll probably like look better and I want people to be able to see it. Like, and I also have my, like, indie tattoo there, so I want, like, my important tattoos to kind of be on this arm. I don't know. Because I'm feeling like I should fill up this arm first and then move on to this arm instead of just having, like, random ones. Got the goods! It was a bit stressful because when I got there, they had moved them. So I was like, oh, they don't have it anymore. And I also was walking around with a bag of coffee because I bought that before I went and got it. $22. Great. But yeah, gonna try and set it up now and see 
if I break it or not. I've set it up, I've cleaned it, and I, mum came home for like 10 minutes because she was dropping something off from work, and um, I made her one quickly because I wanted to try out the frother. Um, it's definitely going to be something that I'm going to need to like practice because it's not the easiest thing in the world, but I'm going to make myself an iced coffee now. So I've just pressed this into here. This is a double shot. It's not great. Uh, so it is now 1.30. Oh, she's just messaged me. The tattoo artist has said, would you be willing to come earlier to your appointment? She said she's just had a client um, just not show up to their tattoo. So that sounds perfect. Okay, so I was going to be able to chill for like half an hour, but I'm going to leave now. Um, yeah, I'm not going to film the tattoo because... I don't know. I'll be vibing. Tattoos, like getting tattooed, is just like my happy place in a weird way. So yeah, I'm going to drive there now and I'll probably see you guys when I have a tattoo, a new one. So that'll either be here or here, but I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going to go with that. But yeah, we'll see. I'll see you guys when I get home. So if you can hear my fan, it's literally so fucking hot up here and I'm not turning it off. Like, sorry about it. I just got home. I was there for a while because hi slight um intermission um i filmed a whole like five minute clip of me explaining what happened when i got to the tattoo shop and it just didn't really make sense it was really long and dragged along and i'm just gonna narrow it down just so you kind of get the general idea so i went to the tattoo artist shop and i was like i had this really specific idea of what i wanted in my head like i sent it to her prior she'd drawn it up but I never actually got sent it, which is totally cool. Like, I kind of wanted it to be a surprise. Um, I wanted a photo of my dog um, that I sent her with his ears back because it was just my favourite thing. It was my favourite photo I've ever taken of him because whenever he put his head back, his ears would flop back. It was my favourite thing in the world. So that's what I wanted tattooed on me. Um, she explained to me that, like, doing it that way, she had already drawn, drawn it up and she showed me and she was like, he looks like a chihuahua. She was like, he, like, he doesn't look like Murphy. And, like, she showed me, like, we made a few changes. And I was like, look, you're not wrong. I was like, no matter what we did, like, it just didn't look like him. Because in the end, without knowing the context that, like, in the photo that his head was back, like, you wouldn't know, if that makes sense. So, like, it literally, he just didn't look like a Maltese Shih Tzu, which is what he was. And she had another one drawn up, which is the one that she was going to do on me, which is now the one that I have tattooed on my body. Made a few changes to it, um... Got it perfect. And yeah, I felt really bad. I felt like a tattoo Karen, like I was there for ages and kept asking her to make all these changes, which I'm never normally like. I'm normally like, yep, that looks sick, slap it on my body. But just because it was such, it's such an important tattoo to me, it means a lot, Um, my literal best friend. So yeah, which she was really like understanding of. She was amazing. And she was like, I would be the exact same. Like, I know it has to be perfect. So that's why we should take some time and do it right. But yeah, just, I hope that makes sense. I gave her a $20 deposit and she was like, I'm going to charge you a hundred, blah, blah, blah. So I just had to pay her 80. I was like, yeah, yeah, perfect. No worries. And I was like, I'm going to give you a hundred. And she was like, like a hundred on top of the 20. So it would be 120, if that makes sense. And she was like, no, she was like, do not tip me. And I was like, you've literally worked so hard. I've been so annoying. And I was like, I'm giving you a tip. I was like, I think I... Like, think your work's amazing. Like, I'm in love with it. She was like, stop it. Like, she was so cool. So just in future, tip your tattoo artists. If you like their work, obviously. If you 
have good experiences, tip your tattoo artists. Because I know that now, and now I will never not tip an artist. I don't know if $20 was a good amount, or if it was too much, or too little, but yeah, she was really appreciative of it, so yeah. I will show you everybody's reactions, but yeah, I absolutely am in love with it. Like, that is my boy. That is my boy. Right, we're just gonna show mum now. I just took this second skin layer off. Ready? Mm hmm Oh, Luke. How oh, cute is he? Nice. Mm. I like that. That's nice. She's done a good job. Yeah. Hmm. Good reaction. My sister just got home from work. She's downstairs, but I'm gonna call her. What? Come see my tattoo! Ah, oh, come downstairs! No, you got come up! No. Are you ready? Let me see it. <laughs> Aww. Wow, it's so cute. I look like an egg right now because I took all my makeup off and I had another blood nose. <laughs> Love that for me. Um, but yeah, um, that's it for the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. But this is what we're looking like right now. Yeah. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to. I post, you know, whenever I can be fucking bothered, to be honest. Love you very much. We'll see you in the next one, hopefully. Bye. Uh.